In this video, we will be demonstrating how to install an infeed table on your Global Tech Accumulation table. We will be demonstrating this with a 3-foot table and infeed attachment, but the same principles apply no matter the size of your table or attachment. Shown here are the tools you will need for setup. First, we will provide an overview of the infeed table. The infeed table is an extension of the accumulation table, as shown here. It attaches directly across from where the conveyor connects to the accumulation table. This is the ideal position to mount the infeed table, because it allows for the guide rails to be supported by two mounting posts each. Having each guide rail attached to two mounting posts allows for the greatest stability for your containers. An infeed table attached to either side of the accumulation table would cause the guide rails to be cut into smaller pieces that would only attach to one mounting bar, causing instability. To begin installing your infeed table, it is best to envision the base of the accumulation table as a diamond, with the legs oriented and positioned towards north, south, east, and west. North being the foot position towards the transfer plate on the conveyor, while south is the foot positioned where the infeed table attaches to the accumulation table. To attach the infeed table, locate the two mounting bars on the infeed table, shown here. These bars have slots that line up with holes in the frame of the accumulation table, located underneath the rotating disc, shown here. Insert the mounting bars between the disc and the frame of the accumulation table. The disc rides on a set of wheels that will serve as a guide. If you thread the bars through these spots between the rotating disc and frame of the accumulation table, as shown here, the slots on the infeed table and holes on the frame of the accumulation table should line up naturally. Have a team member hold the infeed table level with the accumulation table. Another team member should get below the table and thread the included bolts and washers through the table frame and mounting bars. Use a half-inch wrench and quarter-inch hex key to tighten this hardware and lock the infeed table in place. The infeed table has been mounted, however, we still need to adjust our accumulation guide rail. In our example, we are using an accumulation guide rail that already has a cut opening for the conveyor. As you can see, the guide rail across from the conveyor opening cuts the infeed table off from the accumulation table. We now need to cut an opening here to allow containers to pass back and forth from infeed table to accumulation table. Mark at the points where the table guide rail intersects with the infeed attachment, as shown here. Once the marks have been made, use the half-inch socket to loosen, but not remove, the bolts on the guide rail. Once loose, remove the guide rail and set it aside to be cut. Cut the guide rail at the marked points with a vise and hacksaw, like so. Cut using precise and clean strokes along your marks. Reinstall the cut accumulation guide rail by tightening the adjustment nuts using the half-inch socket. Finally, adjust the height of your accumulation guide rail by loosening, but not removing, the adjustment nut using the half-inch socket. Once the guide rail has been positioned to your containers, tighten the adjustment nut by using the half-inch socket. With the guide rail properly modified, your bottles are able to freely move between the accumulation and infeed tables. If excess volume or disorganization of containers on your accumulation table is a problem, we recommend an unscrambler, shown here. This device is attached to the table and pushes containers to the outer edge of the table to be picked up. For more information on installing your unscrambler, please see our video tutorial on the subject.